Hey deer. Welcome back guys to our off-grid homestead here in North Idaho. We're building our own house off-grid and debt-free. That's right, this is what we've got going on right now. We started off living in tents over here and then we got this dried in enough to move into and we just keep on expanding. If you watch yesterday's video, we left the furnace on in the apartment all night running off of our off-grid solar system. So this morning we want to go in and check the batteries. We left them at 100% full, ran all night. We'll see what we're at today. We were at 23%. That's not too bad. I'm it's pretty not too impressed bad, huh? <laughs> to have the furnace going all night, all night long. Yeah. Whew. Hopefully it's been going all night long. Yeah, we need to go up and check the temperature. That's right. Before we go up there and check the temperature and get to work on hanging more sheetrock, we're actually going to go inside and do our push-ups. Yeah, we want to do our push-ups first thing today because we have a lot to do. It's true, man. What are we at? 21? 21 today. Oh. Oh, if you guys are doing them with us, fist bump for you. That's right. That wasn't a punch in the face. <laughs> no, it's a fist bump. High five. High five. <laughs> Not a slap in the face, a high five. Let's go get Sarah and Seth and do our push-ups. Better to get our push-ups done in the morning, guys. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Oh, and we misspoke. Today is 22 push-ups. 22. Not 21. Yeah, sorry guys. I just got my days confused, I guess. So 22. 22 push-ups. You guys ready? Oh, hey, if you'd like to send us a video clip saying that you've accepted a challenge. You can send us a video clip just like this one. Hi, Marty and Julie. I'm Alan from Denmark and I accepted your challenge. I do the push-ups every day. All right, let's get going. 22, everybody ready? 22. 22. Let's do this. Ready? Yeah. Okay, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, ah, 22, my friends. Everybody do them? Almost. Do you guys do them? Good job if you're joining in on the push-up challenge. Good job, everybody. Sarah, Good job. Seth, did you oh, do them all? I did them. Okay. <laughs> Push-ups are over. And Sarah's just relaxing here by the beautiful what fire. A, what a cushy life you live. Uh, what are you doing, man? Hanging out by the fire with your puppy. Why aren't you coming out to the freezing cold to work with us? Because I'm editing the video. <laughs> <laughs> it's good, man. You do a great job, too. Thanks. There it is. What do we say? Was she chief editor? Chief editor right now. <laughs> and then Seth is understudy or something. <laughs> what would that be? What is he? I forget what he is. <laughs> Seth, what did we say you were? Brave. brave. Oh yeah, she's chief editor. You're brave editor. Oh. <laughs> I don't think he's too enthused with that title. Yeah. No, but we're super, super thankful and super proud of both Sarah and Seth for the job they do because it's a it's a difficult job and they both do it with a lot of enthusiasm. So. You guys are awesome. I think we are going to be excited at the temperature. Yeah. I think it's going to be nice. Yeah, I hope so too. Are you ready? Ready. You go first. I'm too nervous. Oh. Oh, it's warm in here. Yeah, it is. Huh. That is so cool. It's set at 62. 60 what? I don't think it was set right. But 62 is nice. I like 62. It is so warm in here. <laughs> It feels very comfortable. <laughs> Let me turn on the lights for you guys here. I don't think it was set at 50. Well, you know what I think I did was, I think I had it set on a temp, temp hold, as in temporary hold. And then it and just then went it, back to it. Yep, yeah, see right here now it says it's following schedule. So you set so it for 62. I guess 62 <laughs> is what the schedule was set for. Way warm. Yeah, but that is like a really good test for our solar system yeah that's a really good test for our solar system if it's but it's 62 for hours yeah and we're only at what was it 20 something all percent? night it was i mean i yeah. said it at what it wasn't late it was like four o'clock three it might have been three because we quit at three yesterday right and it's like 10 30 right now or 10 o'clock yeah oh, 10 o'clock 10 06 yeah well that's pretty cool we're gonna go ahead and turn that temperature down though i just don't want you guys to think that we have been lazy 
We actually have been up since four this morning, which is our usual time to get up. And there are, besides just like family things to do, you know, dishes and cleaning and stuff. We also- Cooking delicious breakfast burritos. Cooking, yeah, Marty cooked delicious breakfast burritos this morning. We also spent a lot of time you know, replying to comments, replying to emails, doing website stuff. And so it's like a lot of the boring stuff that's not physical labor. I just wanted you guys to know that we're not lazy. Yeah, there's definitely a lot to this whole YouTube thing besides just actually getting to build your house that goes along with it. Like the amount of time it takes for Jules to set up a tripod. Yeah, this is like my best friend. <laughs> And then we get the lights, right? So this is the bathroom. You saw us finish this guy yesterday and it looks awesome. It looks kind of like a, a sterile old hospital color. We're gonna move all the lights in the other room now because we're working in that bedroom, doing the sheet rock in there. So we gotta gather these guys up, our super durable lights. And I think we're gonna start up here on this wall right there. I got this. This is a, a drywall sanding sponge. And I've never used one before. I wanna watch some videos on how to actually use a drywall sanding sponge because it's supposed to make like a lot less dust. And then we also got right, like a corner sander thing and a 220 sandpaper. But I'm excited to try this guy. If you like these, let me know down in the comments below like if you like them and you've tried them and all that kind of stuff, if they're any good or not. We gotta get this sheetrock well, up there. It's been a long time. Since I left where I'm from To start the journey I'm still on Are you getting worn out of tripping over things? Sometimes. <laughs> like, I go like this, I go, Ugh. Yeah. Sometimes. I don't even do that anymore. Broke your habit. Broke my habit. Okay, so what are we coming up to? 19 and a quarter. Hmm. You sure? Sorry, 36 and 5 eighths. On the road It's been so long I don't know what I running from and everywhere I go my problems they still seem to show all I know is there ain't nothing I could happen here wouldn't happen there or anywhere else I go here we go man another one down beautiful uh, yeah it's cool I'll just put some screws along there. We'll be good to go. Okay, what's up? I'm gonna do 56 and a quarter inches. By four feet. You go. I'm set it up on the nah. beautiful table. Nah, we'll just do it right there. Going pro. What do you mean going pro? It means we're doing it. We're doing wow, it the way the pros. Look at that. There you go, man. <laughs> it's like every time, huh? Every time we drop it, yeah. it ends blade down like that. Ooh. Pro means we don't. Oh, that means we don't draw it. the line yeah. first. We just cut it. Cut right. That's right. Can you hold it down there, though? I think I'm still not all the way at 100% pro. That's weird, huh? Why would it be drawn on like that? I don't know. Somebody graffitied our stuff at the factory. Yeah, and it was facing in. It was like these are sandwiched together, so yeah. it's super odd. We got our lipstick. We need just one full sheet, no cutting needed. Well, Carpenter says that. I, I got know. my lipstick. Yeah, <laughs> probably none. Martin Johnson does. Yeah. All right, that's one sheet right here, man. Tell them about the idea that you have about that marking. Oh yeah. So remember that that curly marking like that on it. My idea is, is that maybe at the factory, that's like a mark that they're getting close to the end of a roll of paper. Cause I imagine these are have big giant rolls of paper and they put it together and press it and glue it and all that stuff. So maybe the, the worker there marks it like that. So they know it's the end. Probably our most perfect one ever. Way good, man. Look at that. It's like a perfect outline. Even has a place for the screws. Yeah, it's cool. Nice. Good job, Jules. You did that one. I know, but it's your idea. <laughs> it's not my idea either. <laughs> it's your lipstick. There we go. Look at that. Yeah. Both windows are cut out. One whole wall is done. How do you feel about that, Jules? Looks beautiful. Love it.
So that thing is actually working really good. Yeah. So don't have it down with the outlets, like going around the outside of the outlet, but for cutting out windows and stuff, it works really, really good. It does a clean job. Because we've got so many short pieces, right, from cutting them, we're gonna go ahead and put a seam right here. 42 inches, which I think we've got one out there that's 42 inches. Last screw for this wall. Ready? Yeah. I'm gonna cut this out. Yeah, we'll cut that out right now. Favorite new tool. Thank you. Yeah, it's working good, I mean, man. Your new favorite tool. <laughs> Watch when I go down in here and the dust that comes up. At least it did it last time. It's like a little fountain yeah. going up in the air. Like little faithful. Beautiful. Yeah. Well, I got a little of the wood. Yeah, I did get a little bit of the wood. Windows, two walls. I think it's time for lunch. Lunch was good. Super simple, yet tasty. I want to show you guys this. We set out that deer block, and I want to go see how much the deer have actually been eating on it before we get back to work. Ooh, and they've been munching on it quite a bit. There's quite a bit of it missing there. I guess they like it. Well, there's tons of, tons of deer prints out here. Someone dropped a whole bunch of raisins out here. What's up with that? Who's been eating raisins in our yard? But anyway, they've been over here and they like to actually eat on the chicken's block, which is weird. They like come under here and they lean down underneath the chicken coop and eat on that. What are you guys doing all over here on the firewood? You're gonna be coating that in chicken grease. I guess they gotta hang out somewhere. They don't like hanging out in the snow. All right, let's get back to work. Try to get another wall done. Whew, it's getting chilly out here. Walking by camera scene, ended up starting the generator. I don't remember, it was like 23 or 24% this morning when we went out there to check it. We've been running the furnace all day and all of our work lights. Our work lights are like 400 watts all combined together. So we've been using a lot of power today. We were down to 10% when I started the generator. Wow, 10%. Yeah, so huh? we used like, what, 14% today? Yeah, I think, or With was the, it 28? I don't know, something like that. And the kids are in the house using the lights, our mm -hmm. computers and all that. Probably so. the microwave. Seth usually uses the microwave. Yeah. <laughs> this is our last wall of the day. Yeah? I hope so. <laughs> This one right here, man, is, we could probably get it, huh? What's that? It's awful close, though. Yeah, I wonder uh, if we need to cut off a little bit. I think so. We're we gonna do that or do this, because we got to stagger our scenes. So. Yeah, we could go from this side this way on this one, and then get that one later. On. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, let's go with uh, 82 and a quarter. We'll continue to find our way through anything we face. We got what it takes. Cruising into our favorite spot here. Oh, it's so warm in here. It is it's so, so warm. Healthy. I don't know. What are we here for? I think we need mud, like lots of it. You know what? Maybe. Beef turkey, the small buckets. Like lots, because we got they lots wanna find, big, big gaps. They want to find quick set. They don't have it. Wait, well, yeah, let's look, look for it again. Okay, guys, find me some quick set. Quick set, quick set. Okay. Which one are we going with? 40? 40. Why are we choosing 40? Well, oh, by the way, we found the quick set. I didn't think they had any. This is it. It doesn't actually say quick set anywhere, but you got 20 minute, 40 minute, and 90 minute. So we're going to go with this for filling those big gaps because we used this other stuff the other day and it did shrink and some of it did crack and split. So we're going to try this stuff for filling the gaps because that's what it says it's for, huh? You yeah. read like the manufacturer stuff Yeah, online. it's from Silver Set. I read online about Silver Set. And... This is what you use for filling big gaps. Yeah. So we're going with the 40 because we're not as fast as this and we don't want to wait that long. Don't we need more mud? That's quite a bit. We need those, the beads, the edge beading things. Yeah, beads down here. Beads. Like headphone beads? We definitely need mud, yeah. <laughs> Our friend 
who is coming over to show us some tricks on how to do this stuff, recommended that we get the one with paper on it, like this one right here. So that's what we're gonna do. These are for the outside corners of the apartment. We only really have two like wall outside corners. All the other outside corners are around the windows. And so we got to, I'm looking for some that aren't bent. And then we need two 10 footers, 10 feet. You think that's tall? That's not even tall enough, I don't think. I don't think that's tall enough. Uh -uh. I wonder if you can overlap them. You're asking the wrong person. <laughs> Let's just go with the eight footers because 10 feet's not even going to be tall enough. So we'll How go with the eight footers them? and we'll ask Randy if we'll we ask, could just overlap we'll just them. Ask her. Sarah, yeah. do you think that'll work? For what? Oh, you're just supposed to say yeah. Yeah, totally. <laughs> but these ones are all bent. Like, is that okay? We're not getting them. We're oh, not, we're not getting these. These okay. ones are messed up. Okay, I was like, I'm a little concerned. So we're just sorting them. We're not, trying to find the good time. ones. That's like, hey, Sarah. You think 10 feet's long enough? Well, we, we just go home and measure. True. Here. Every day in the month of December, we are answering one of your questions that you ask in the comments and giving you a special shout out if you ask one and it gets used in a video. Gene Dickman asks about our water holding tank. It's a 2,500 gallon black poly tank. And he asks, what do we do about the bacteria in there? Do we do anything to like clean it up or have we had it tested or do we add anything to it? And the answer to that is we've had the well water tested, but it sits in the holding tank for a long time, right? And so bacteria could get in there. You could have a rat crawl in there and die or a squirrel or something like that. We do not treat that water in any way other than our beautiful Catadyne water filter. All of our drinking water actually goes through this right here. If you look inside, oh, it's probably gross. Yep, but if you look down here, hmm, how could we do that? I'll try it. One armed. If we lift this up, look at that. The water is crystal clear down there. So this right here is how we take care of any bacteria problem that may come up in that holding tank. All the rest of the water we just use like normal. Shower, cooking, just boil the water when you cook it. We filter our drinking water right through here. So thank you for the question. That's a very good question and that's how we take care of it. If you have a question that you would like answered in one of our videos, type it down in the comment section below. And if we choose it, we'll give you a shout out just like we did Gene. And that is going to do it for today. But we did pick out this video right over here for you to go ahead and check out next. But in the meantime, we hope you have a really great day and keep smiling.